What's up guys? Jake here with Legacy 4x4. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I'm doing my rear control arm links for the rear double triangulated four link on the back of my 67 Commando project. Alright, so you guys can see here I've already got the upper links tied in. I made those a couple weeks ago. I already made that video on these shock hoops. You can see those kind of cooled off there. And now we'll start doing... I just picked up the DON tubing for the lower links. Got it sitting over there doing two inch quarter wall. So today we're going to make those lower links and we're going to finally finish this rear four link. So I also drilled the new holes in the frame to mount this uh, this four link cross member that I've got here in the center. Clears with just enough space on the transmission or on the transfer case so that it can spin freely. Barely clears there but it does. Uh, I'm still going to do some, some grinding and some shaving down here just to get a little bit more clearance. Um, but anyway, so you can see these upper links are up here right now. So basically, so basically what I've done is I've got all these heme joints in and I'm going to measure between them, between the two, the two points there and there to get the distance I need my length. on both sides so that I can get a good proper measurement. What I'll do is I'll, I'll work this here and then I will find the average between the two of them. So that's just shy of 43. So I know the axle is a little bit rolled back right now. I have a I'm doing some fucking funky shit with my legs. It slid off itself. This one's just shy of 45. So now with that, because I got 43 on one side and 45 on the other, I'm going to go to the average of 44. Uh, I'm probably going to go a little bit shorter than 44 because I got a little bit of play. I can adjust the, the actual length of the whole system by just spinning the control arms. So I'll go just a smidge less than 44 and then uh, we'll weld these bungs in and we'll see how it all fits up. Six and three quarters on the dot, 36 and three quarters on the dot. So I cut them to length, and then I just took a grinder to the end of it, flattened it back out, I did a very, very slight bevel around the end of it. The bungs I'm using are already beveled, so I didn't want to go too hard for it. I just did a little bit just to smooth out the previous. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out the inside of this tube here. Uh, it's just a real tight fit with the bungs going in there, so I'm going to hit it. I got a little Y wheel a wire wheel which happens to fit perfectly inside this tube. Um, I'm just going to clean them out and then keep on working be ready to weld these bums in. Perfect, just like that. Now it's critical when you're lining this all up that you use the right threaded bungs. So I've got, uh, with the kit I bought, some are right-handed thread, some are left-handed thread. So I've got four of them out here right now. I just double-checked all the threads. So I marked them right and left. Make sure you put the lefts on the same side, put the rights on the same side. And you just test it easy, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. For the right-handed ones, and then it's the opposite, lefty-tighty, righty-loosey for the left-handed ones. Again, I just marked them so I can't mess it up. And now I'm going to remove the bungs from the hives. Just like that. 
Once I get that done, they should fit nicely on the inside. I'm going to mark my two with the style of bung that's in there. After hitting it with those wire wheels, it should fit nicely in the inside, just like that. Hey, what's up guys? Going to go over how the rear end is currently looking now that we've got the control arm links in the back here all finished up and uh, the Jeep's on its own weight. So you all can see here, this is how we're currently sitting. It's not 100%, it's pretty close though. You can see there's that, that front cross member there, it goes underneath the transfer case. Still got to slam two more bolts in there, but they're there for now. And you can see how the arms stretch all the way back there to the rear. Kind of going around this way. You can kind of see it from this side, how it's looking. I like it. The arms are nice and long, which is what I wanted. Trying to get you a good side profile there. There you go. Let's go over to this side. You can see how long all those are. That's kind of what that's going to look like. Drive shaft's not in place yet, but the axle is centered now. Uh, don't pay attention to the tires. I don't have all the lug nuts in on them yet. You can see what those shocks look like up there, and kind of how this whole thing is going to be. I'll get these shot from the front of the Jeep, looking back that way. So, I'm like I said, I'm really happy with it. It's solid so far. I just have to actually, uh, I'll put bolts and everything in there uh, for real later on. For now, I'm just getting it all set into place. But there it is. I think guys super happy with how that came out. Stay tuned. More to follow. I'm going to hurry up and finish this. Uh, I got the front up here. I did a lot of work on the front this weekend too. I should be able to get it done. Uh, Hopefully today, and I'll have a video up for you guys soon with that. Alright guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, we've got more coming.